A senior Vatican reporter visited campus Tuesday night, and Salve Today was there to find out how John Allen reports on the divine. He wants them to think of fidelity to the gospel. Award-winning journalist for the National Catholic Reporter and CNN, John Allen, spoke to a full house at Bazarsky Lecture Hall about the global effect of Pope Francis. Well, I mean, look, you know, the, the, the truth is that this, popes in general have a big platform, right? I mean, you know, when you've got a church that's got 1.2 billion members around the world, who, whoever is in charge of it is going to be a big deal. Uh, but this pope in particular seems to have gone from, like, spiritual leader to sort of pop culture sensation, right? Uh, and I think a, a lot of it is uh, his personality. I mean, you know, when people think pope, you know, you think a kind of stuffy, formal, aristocratic potentate, right? And they look at this guy who is just this kind of humble, simple man of the people who so obviously loves the company of ordinary folks. There's just something very beguiling uh, about that, okay? At the level of style, uh, in many ways, Francis has already kind of achieved a revolution. You know, after March 13th, the dominant media narrative about the Catholic Church became rock star pope takes the world by storm. You know, I mean, he's utterly changed perceptions. Uh, of Catholicism. I asked John about how he finds a balance between journalistic responsibility and the very real fact that what he reports may affect the faith and beliefs of millions of people across the globe. Well, fundamentally what I would say is that I don't see myself as a Catholic reporter. I see myself as a reporter who happens to be Catholic. Uh, and to me, there's a difference there. I mean, I, I'm not trying to spread the gospel in my professional work. That's somebody else's business. You know, uh, what I'm trying to do is get the story about the Catholic Church right. Uh, and on most days, that's hard enough to do, you know, let alone whatever further use you want to make of it. So, uh, I, listen, I mean, I am profoundly aware that in reporting on the Catholic Church, I'm touching on the deepest passions uh, of 1.2 billion people around the world who consider themselves Catholics, uh, and, and hundreds of millions of others who are not Catholic, but nevertheless, either favorably or unfavorably, uh, you know, may have strong feelings uh, about the Catholic Church. So, I mean, I'm, I'm well aware, and I try to be respectful uh, of that fact. But ultimately, my job is not to decide who's right or who's wrong, and it's certainly not to decide, uh, you know, whether your God is better than somebody else's God. I mean, my, my job uh, is to try to get whatever is in the news about the Catholic Church at the moment, it's try to get that story correct, get the facts right, put it in the proper context, give people the tools they need to think intelligently about it, and then let them make their own decisions. And what does John Allen think will be the legacy of Pope Francis? Well, listen, I mean, I, I've written over and over again that I think when we write the, the kind of final epitaph uh, of this papacy, the headline of it is going to be the Pope of Mercy. That beyond everything else, the, the, the cornerstone uh, of Francis's agenda uh, is to try to lift up the element of mercy, which has always been part of the Christian message, but sometimes is a little hard to see. You know, I think a lot of people, when they look at institutional Christianity, what they see is judgment, and they see power, and they see wealth, uh, and they see privilege. They don't always necessarily smell, taste, see, and feel mercy. Francis wants to lift up that element of mercy and make it crystal clear that for everyone in this world, not just the, the 2.3 billion Christians of the world, but the 7 billion inhabitants of, uh, inhabitants of planet Earth, all of whom in some way are broken and wounded and struggling. I think what he wants to say to them uh, is above everything else and beyond everything else that God has a message of mercy for you too, that God understands your brokenness and your struggles and that God forgives. Uh, and everything else from his papacy flows from that point of departure. So in the same way that I think, you know, John Paul was a pope of mission and Benedict was a pope of intellect, uh, I think Francis is destined to be the pope of mercy. As John heads back to Rome to continue his work covering the Vatican, you can still hear more about what John thinks about Pope Francis, the future of the Catholic Church, and its place in the world by watching the premiere episode of Big Questions where John Allen sat down for an in-depth interview with Salve's Dr. Tony Lepresti. Reporting from O'Hare Academic Center, this is Ciara Speller, Salve Today.